we have a huge announcement. The winners of the LEGO Ideas Cross Target have come out. First of all though, I'm going to go over all three finalists, starting with Marine Life. This set contains three different buildable sea life creatures, because I don't know if a jellyfish is technically a fish or a seal. Anyway, fishes, it has 1164 pieces, consists of a base, a seabed, and the main figure, and a bell which simulates glass. That's the glass cover that goes over the figure. The jellyfish, the clownfish, and seahorse appear to be floating in their bells. It looks fantastic. It is absolutely beautiful. As a display piece, this would be spectacular. I, I think I particularly like the clownfish. I really like the jellyfish. And I, I mean, you can't hate any of these. These are, these are awesome. These are some fantastically creative ideas. You can see all the details in the base. The details in the jellyfish's head is very cool. Clownfish is a realistic details. Absolutely love this. The next runner up is the working mini golf course. This is literally a fully functioning mini golf course. Fully playable, comes with three holes. You might be wondering how this works. Well, I'll start off by describing what it is. It's 32 by 32 stud landscape, which includes colorful flowers, a tiny waterfall, rocky hills, and a winding path which connects everything together. It is absolutely brilliant. Comes with a couple of minifigures, we don't have a set piece count on the ideas page that I can see, but it has three separate courses. You can probably configure them how you want, and it has Lego Technics gears. So you place your minifigure on the course and you use the gears to rotate your minifigure around to hit the balls into the holes. It is so clever. It is so, so clever. I love this. It is so creative. Absolutely spectacular job. Brilliant, brilliant work. Check it out. I, I don't know if we can get this one through now that the voting is over, but I just let Lego know that you want it because it is fantastic. It's such a good idea. And finally, we've got the Viking Village. It's based in the year 793 when Vikings were raiding monasteries in the shores of England and they ushered in the Viking Age. It's what it is, is it's a village that consists of five major structures, as you can see there. It has a small blacksmith shop, the blacksmith's house, the great hall for gatherings for the king to hold court, hopefully it comes with a viking king, a tall temple building and a small watchtower connected via the rope bridge, you can see there. Absolutely fantastically creative set, I love vikings. I love this set. I would absolutely love another series of Vikings from Lego. It would look great with a 3 in 1 Lego ship at the docks with a Viking village. It consists of 2,100 pieces. It comes with a Viking chief, and it comes with a blacksmith and a warrior. They have horns on their helmets, which is not historically accurate, and I've seen some people complain and just don't put the horn on the helmet if you're going to buy this set. Pretty easy work around there. So overall, we have three absolutely fantastically creative sets but there can only be one winner, and that winner is the Viking Village. Some would say not deservedly. I've seen a lot of people protesting for the golf course. I love the Viking Village, but I, I understand people's disappointment not getting the golf course. Overall though, I'm very happy to have a Viking Village coming to my Lego collection. Let me know which set you wanted. Let me know what set you would have preferred to win. This is coming to Target exclusively as a retailer, but everything is available on lego.com in the future. So for all of us international people, we don't have to worry about flying to the USA and going to Target or wherever else Target stores are. I'm not really sure. I'm not looking into the structure of Target. Otherwise, check out my other content. We've got some great tier lists, more reviews coming out all the time. We're doing some streaming of the builds. We're having, building a community. Like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate every one of you and we'll catch you in the next one.